first off, you know, I just want to say uh, thanks to um, Carolina Panthers, um, David, Marty, Coach Matt, um, you know, for just taking this chance and uh, believing in me. Um, I'm excited about this opportunity that I have uh, to continue my career in Carolina. I've followed Cam since I was a teenager. So, um, you know, yeah, we have a relationship. We actually just talked during Super Bowl. Um, we, were, we were supposed to meet at Prime One Bell, but he had to uh, make it to the red carpet. I was a little behind, so he had to go make a red carpet appearance. But, um, but Cam's a great guy. He's been a huge help, you know, uh, for a lot of guys in this league, and, uh, especially a lot of young guys when they come in this league. And, you know, uh, he's one of the, you know, better men in this league, you know, uh, when you really get to know. I'm aware of the situation that I'm coming into. You know, he is. You know, it's a unique situation for me. All I have to do is continue to be myself. Uh, last year, you know, I don't want to speak on New Orleans, New Orleans too much, but when I was in New Orleans, I was behind the guy in the degrees. And, uh, you know, I knew that when Drew got injured, I had big shoes to fill in. And I just constantly reminded myself to just be you. You know, be the best version of Teddy that I could be. And um, by doing so, it allowed me to be, you know, a better teammate, a better football player, and a better person in the community. Yeah, my relationship with Joe, um, it goes back to New Orleans. And he, was the, he was the guy who actually taught me everything when I first got to New Orleans. So uh, Joe was the guy who worked with me you know, after practice, in the pregames. Uh, he was the guy who took me through drill. Uh, we went over the call sheet together. And uh, he just stayed active with me. And um, you know, it was great to have a guy like that to uh, show me the ropes of things when I was in New Orleans. And to be connected with him again in Carolina, um, uh, Coach Matt Brew uh, played against him when I was in college. So uh, there were some relationships uh, developed uh, prior to making the decision. And uh, you know, I'm just happy that I had the opportunity to play and I had the opportunity to be uh, you know, part of the Carolina Panthers. Uh, I heard stories of how hard you know, Christian McCaffrey was, and I heard how much of a dog DJ Moore is, and Curtis Samuel, and you know, I can go down the list. But um, you know, to add Rodney to the equation, um, you know, it's great uh, to be in the seat that I'm in. You know, I used to always talk about being a kid in the candy store. That's what it feels like. They told me I wouldn't win last year and we won five games. So for me, you know, it's just approaching every day with that mindset to win. And, uh, you know, I don't wake up with the mindset losing or tanking or anything like that. Everywhere I've gone, I've won, and I take pride in that.